these ones instead. Tell me again. Everything that happened, Susanna. I've already said everything there is to say, madam. Did he really offer you money? Yes, madam, he did. How could he sink so low? <laughs> well, that's it then, isn't it? He obviously doesn't feel anything for me anymore. I wouldn't be too sure about that, madam. You don't think so? He still gets terribly jealous about you. Well, that's... He thinks he's got some God-given right to go chasing after any woman he fancies. But if any man comes within a mile of me, he goes berserk. Oh, God, Susanna. What are we going to do? Figaro's up to something, I know. I've cracked it. Figaro, cracked what? Oh, a little problem. I've got this brilliant plan. Figaro? You're going to love this. What have you done? It's a killer! He won't know what's hit him. Figaro! All right, all right. Listen, I've sent him an anonymous letter, you know, signed by a well-wisher, telling him that you are having a bit of rumpy-pumpy with someone. What? And you're going to meet this bloke in the ground somewhere this afternoon. Why? To throw him off the scent for a couple of hours. Figaro, he'll have a fit. <laughs> I know. You might find this funny, but I don't. And if you value I your haven't finished yet. While he's busy staking out the garden trying to catch you out, we proceed to phase two. There's more. Don't worry, this bit's even better. What I want you to do, right, is tell him that you've changed your mind and you'll meet him in the garden oh, after all. no. But... You're a genius, this. <laughs> You'll send Cherubino disguised as you instead. He's a boy. As Sir Cecil will discover. <laughs> <laughs> All we've got to do is catch him in the act. He'll be so humiliated, he'll never dare look at another woman again. But I thought Cherubino had gone off to the Falklands. Let's just say fog on the runway, shall we? <laughs> What do you think? Might be worth a try. Oh, I don't know. Trust me! <sighs> Madam. Look, I'll send him down. You get him ready, right? And then? And then? I'll pay the piper and I'll call the tune. I'll pay the piper and I'll call the tune. Yes, I'll call the tune. Yes, I'll call the tune. I don't think Figaro has any idea how humiliating this is. And the thought of involving that boy. What if he were to tell his headmaster? I don't think he'd dare. Really? No, he's far too much in... In awe of you, madam. In awe? Of me? How oh, sweet. Where's this uh, song he's written? Here. I know. Why don't we get him to sing it to us? Why not? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. I'm not shy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. Don't call me sir. It reminds me of my so-called holiday. I'll probably have to say goodbye to my dear godmother for good. <laughs> dear? I thought it was gorgeous this morning. Yes, well, that too. Yes, well, that too. You little flirt. <laughs> Come on. Your gorgeous godmother wants to hear your song. May one ask <laughs> to whom it is addressed? <laughs> Look, he's got as red as a beetroot. <laughs> well, actually, I've got a bit of a sore throat oh, at the moment. Swim. Well, it is a bit high for me. Chicken. <laughs> All right, then. If you really want me to. We do. Now stop faffing around and get on with it. Thank you. 
lovely voice. That was really... Thank you. I didn't know you could sing. Not that well. Oh, he does everything well, madam. <laughs> All right, little general. Has Figaro told you what he wants you to do? Yes. Now, like, oh. get your clothes. The thing is... What are you doing? I'm getting him ready. Do I have to? Oh, Susanna, I really don't think we should be doing this. I agree. Come on, it's all in a good cause. What if someone should come in? Exactly. Well, let them. We're not doing anything wrong. I'll just lock the door. Get it off. I'll lock the bedroom door as well. Oh. Susanna! What's this? Sir Cecil gave it to me for my commanding officer. May I? <laughs> He's forgotten to sign it. What? This check. Look. Must have been desperate. Look at him, the little prude. Come on, get it off. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> oh, put your arms through. Do hurry up, Susanna. Mm, just stop fidgeting, will you? Put your head up, let's look at you. Oh, there. But I need it. Besides, a plaster's much better. Please. What on earth for? They say the silk worn by a beautiful woman can heal anything. <laughs> then I must dry it on my husband sometime. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> laughing at you. Oh, poor thing. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Carabino. I wish I was dead. You're crying. If only... Who is it? Why is the door locked? Oh, my God. It's my husband. I knew this would happen. I just knew it. Look at you. He'll have a fit. Oh, I'm... I'm alone. Well, who are you talking to, then? You, of course. He'll kill me. Into the bathroom, quickly. Take this stuff with you. Open the damn door. Oh. 
What's going on? You never used to lock yourself in? I know, but I was just putting away... Um... Yes? <sighs> putting away what? Shoes! Bless you. <laughs> Susanna was here a moment ago. She's gone to her room. Well, if it's only Susanna, what are you getting so worked up about? We were talking about you, actually. Were you? Well, if it's not too much trouble, perhaps you wouldn't mind turning your attention to this for a moment. What was that? What was what? That noise. It came from your bathroom. I didn't hear anything. Too much on your mind, I suppose. <laughs> There's somebody in there. Well, who do you think it could be? I don't know. You tell me. Of course, it's Susanna. In fact, I remember... Uh, you said she'd gone to her room. Oh, in there. I didn't notice. Well, if it's only Susanna, what are you looking so guilty for? Surely it's you who should be feeling guilty about Susanna. That's got nothing to do with it. Susanna? Susanna? Susanna, open the door. She can't. Why not? She won't have anything on. She's been trying on her wedding dress. Well, she can answer me, can't she? Susanna! Susanna, answer me! Susanna, I forbid you to speak! This is outrageous! You're not going to open this door? This is my room. You have no right. Don't I? We'll soon see about that. I'll force it open. Hello there! That's right. Call the staff. Humiliate me in front of the whole house. Fine. I'll fetch the tools myself. What are you doing now? Locking the doors. We don't want anyone to go walkies, do we? In fact, I think it would be better if you were to come with me. Madam? Sir? I'm sure Susanna won't mind waiting till we get back. <laughs> Come on, you little devil, unlock the door and hurry. The sick down, but hurry. The people can be in it. You must get out of here. Quick while the coast is clear. Oh my God, I was so scared of that, but I'm becoming free. Get out, get out. I think I'd better leave. This is a time for jumping. You'll be back any minute. He mustn't find me here. He mustn't find me here. Of course, he locked the door from outside when he left. He locked the door. I'm giving you one more chance. Tell Susanna to come out of the bathroom. What is wrong with you? You're behaving like a lunatic. It's not as if you still loved me. This is about pride, isn't it? You just can't stand the thought that I might be interested in someone else. I don't care what you think. Either you tell whoever's in there to open the door, or I break it down. This is insane. You don't seriously think I have a man hidden in the bathroom, do you? I don't know. That's why I'm going to find out. All right. All right. But listen to me first. So, it isn't Susanna. No. No, it isn't. But neither is it anyone you need worry about, I swear. Who is it? Tell me. I'll bloody kill him. Listen to me. Oh, God, I can't. Speak! He's only a boy. A boy? A 
Carabino. He's been having a go with you as well? No! So that's what the letter's about. That boy's going to wish he'd never been born. Come on out, you handy bastard, or I'll cleave your head in two. to trick me, yet you dare to contradict me. I'll explain it. It's too late now. Please, a moment. Well, be quick now. I'm listening. Explain it. It was just a bit of nonsense. Totally harmless. But he might look a bit peculiar with his clothes off and a dress on. <laughs> and a dress on? Do continue. We had dressed. Disgusting, but I'm going to have real without discretion. But I'll make the virgin day. Susanna, 
I swear I'll revert. It's no me that you need to try to convert. Your wife is the one that you wishes me hurt. My lady. Rosina. Rosina. Cecil blows a fuse. We just want to 
I was thinking There's always a first time <laughs> That it won't be But you still you sign She says her case is watered. I did not assume sufficient grounds. I think I would agree. Mr. Gordon, Mrs. Hortless. I must have silence. How dare you behave like this? I demand some courtesy. The lady lent him money, and if he cannot pay her back, he has to marry, has to pay, and let him fool immediately. He's mistaken. I'm a second I won't be told what to do. It's outrageous. I must know all the facts of the matter. You should check the legality. Now he's trapped, there's no escape. It's a problem of his Say is true. Trust the name. Trust the name. Trust the name. 